Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Persona 5 Royale. Um, last time around we managed to get out of the castle and this time around I guess we're meeting Shiazora on the roof. So that's what I think that's where we're heading next. We are going to the third floor. Let's listen in on the conversation. By the way, thank you for volunteering to take care of the planters. Oh, it's no trouble. I'm sure, uh, I'm not sure I'm up to the task though. Don't worry, it'll be a huge help. Hold on, I'll make sure the roof is unlocked for you. I imagine it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm sure you can handle yes. it. All right, I'll do my best. I'll look for them later. I guess that's kind of probably to tell you, hey, that this is happening. There have been far too many accidents lately. What's the point of waking up early if my train, if I'm just going to get to the station late? You mean accidents like the train engineer is going crazy, right? I saw a photo of him online. His, to his face is totally messed up. Plus, I heard some kid's parents were on that train and are in critical condition now. D don't be so global. I love how some of these people are like not here. And then others are very much there. I don't know. I kind of. I like actually being able to like see the students. Have you seen the transfer student everyone's talking about? How does he look tough? No, I, I heard he actually dresses kind of plain. He's probably just hiding his true self under that. I'll make sure not to cross him. Yeah, I bet he's totally a different person when he's mad. I heard he almost killed mm -hmm. someone. It's amazing where um, rumors go. Looks like the door's unlocked. We had the girl said it would be unlocked. There you are. Sorry for calling you up here like this. No problem. Wasn't doing much, just being late in the first day of our school. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? Did she said you're trouble? <laughs> We're pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. <laughs> Thanks. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Yeah. Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> Welcome. That man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. You know, the guy you met at the school gates, the ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. Not that one. <laughs> No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Does it? Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, all right? All right. See ya. Like, are you starting now? <sighs> Obediently return home. That was my plan. Well, now we get to apologize. Hey, Showing up late. I got a call from the school. Listen, it was the, we got Here lost. You ditched half a day on your first day of school. I'm sorry. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Listen, it wasn't. Just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? I do. Good. 
Hey, <coughs> what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, uh, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. Is he still there? Think about tomorrow, I should go another time. Well, I don't think we can... I guess we can't do anything, really. I guess that's all we really can do. So let's just head to bed. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of all weird stuff that's happened to me. Go to sleep. Might as well. wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. <laughs> you will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. Maybe it's just me, but like, when I look at that face, I think like, hey, Master, what's going on, Master? I have high expectations for you. Not that kind of voice. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. Does it matter what I tell him? Have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? No. Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. Metaverse Navigator? I it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Thank you. Give yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. No. <laughs> it's kind of like... I mean... It it's must just be kind of there. To make use of the Metaverse <laughs> Navigator alone. Sorry if my commentary is a little bit weird. I, I got off work and my head's feeling a little funny and I'm just not all here. So if I say or do something that's just like bleh, it's because I'm a little bit tired. So Should but I'll be do my best to be here. Beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. What? <laughs> I need you to be a thief. It's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it sucked to wake up in a prison cell as in your dream. Had a strange dream. Fate and awakening? More importantly, I need to hurry and get this ready for school. Seriously? What was the conductor thinking? Charging into the station at top speed like that. Didn't you hear? The guy totally lost it. It's been happening a lot lately. <laughs> All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going on? Well, between the economy sucking and how depressing the news always is, it's not all that surprising.
Look, isn't that her? You mean Ew. that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. Oh, wow, what speed. I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. He just collapsed and fell asleep. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. I was, what was really cool, interesting is like, I was in another Korea story. When I was in um, Korea, the subway system, like they had a section on each of the subway carts that was reserved. Well, not reserved. It was like an unwritten rule that was for older people. I mean, I, I've seen younger people sit there, but like it was, it had to be like pretty much an empty train, but even then people probably wouldn't sit there. It's just reserved for like the older generation. Thank you. Ain't it heavy though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. With what? I didn't for do anything. speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Cool. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Senpai! Please excuse me. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> oh, I got an umbrella. Look at me with my fancy little umbrella. Get us, no, I don't want to be at school on time. I don't want to go to school. I just finished my final. I finished all my finals. I don't want to go to school. Seems I haven't made it to school. It seems I, oh, it seems I have made it to school safely. What was that castle, though? Class is starting. I'm the social studies teacher, Mr. Ishiro. I'll be teaching you in the rules of society this year. <laughs> You've been the spoiled grown up. Can't wait to see who disappoints me the most this year. A certain dictionary defines a year as a period of 365 disappointments. And I made up all of them last year. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Well, the book's title is about as cynically satirical as the rest of it. It's the Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Beers. Hey, new kid. What's the answer? Tell me, what's the devil's dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race? Um. I know for these quizzes, if you if you get them right, it, like, I think it helps you with like your intelligence and battle. I think, or at least all on stat. There's a certain stat that it helps with. I'm gonna say experience. Hmm. Do you know anything? <laughs> I didn't expect you to know. The correct answer is male factors or villains. Remember that. Oh, okay. Sure, villains can affect the course of history, but remember that this definition is sardonic witticism, nothing more. Here in the real world, villains don't push humanity forward. All they do is spread chaos and strife. Guess he does study after all. We should stay away from him. Crap, the teacher's looking at us. I know you all heard the reports of these agitators stirring up trouble. We don't have any room for criminals here, and not in school, not in society, am I clear? Hey, 
his incredible first year came. Wow, that girl in the ribbon is really thin. This Is she a first year? The delinquent and the honor student are arriving at the same time? Uh-oh. Assault, blackmail, drugs. He's done it all. I heard he carries around a knife. Oh, don't you love gossip? Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes. I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. Mm, you must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please excuse me. Yo. What's up? Talk about that cat. What's up? I tried Why? telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff. So, you in? Sure. <laughs> it was just a dream. I'm out. Sure, what next? Nice. <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. <laughs> Why fight it? Just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. Okay. In the meantime, you're walking to the stage. He's right? backwards. Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. Ryuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably just go along with this. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? Yeah. Maybe? When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> walk oh, that right. way, this way. This way. Let me know if you notice something. Okay. Burn. Burn? Burn! Huh? We're at school. Excuse me. Yep. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. <sighs> we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Again? Don't worry. I won't mess up this time. Let's go. Alright. Once more, we're feeling. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? <laughs> it's a TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. Uh, check on your phone. I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? Uh, navigation app? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? I mean, yeah. Let me see your phone for a bit. Okay. What's this eyeball looking thing? It just appeared. What? What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! But oh, I didn't man, search I'm anything. such a genius! Let's try using it. <laughs> but I don't know how. Then I'll do it. It's all good. Shooting Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning 
navigation. There we go. And then we went in a certain direction and Hey, what are you? Huh? <laughs> it's like how do you not feel this? What the hell? It's like it's morphing. Yep, we're on the drawbridge. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah, those close. That happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? I think it looks cool. It's like not bad, huh? Yeah, you don't. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey, stop making a commotion. No, uh, you. The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. To think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? Kind of. That's right. But it's a castle. This castle is the school. It's a school for castles. But only to this castle's ruler. The castle's he has ten ruler? of them. Yes, they're all in feet. He has ten feet. I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Moshida, hmm. distorted. Explain it in a way that makes sense. <laughs> How does this not make sense? I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. Ouch. What did you say? I said. <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit. It's for real. We saw other guys get <laughs> captive here yesterday. I knew I'm sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! He's mad, dude. You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! Mona Mona. It's Morgana! <laughs> Do you know hey, Mona you Mona! From? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. Why me? Uh. I just want to get a better look at your powers. Even if you don't agree. I bet this guy will go on even if he has to do it alone. Are you going to leave him? Yes. I never said that. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. All right, let's do this. Follow me. This is our infiltration point. Okay. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. I mean, generally. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever burgled a place or seen a place being burgled that the thief just walks through the front door and is like, hello, family that lives here of three. Mother, father, and daughter, I, Gustav, have decided to steal everything. No, they wouldn't do that. 
Gustav would be smarter than that. Gustav would come through a window in the dead of night or something like that, or a time when the family's not there. Gustav is smarter than that. I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. It's okay, Gustav is ready. I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really though, thanks for coming along. He's so like bipolar. I, I hate him, thank you. I don't like this guy. Oh, you're so amazing. Oh, Kamoshida is all I'm in. <laughs> Place is as creepy as always. Mm -hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Okay. Follow me. Just turn around and leave. I can't, I mean, actually. Okay. Into the main hall. Uh. Hey, we went by here when we came in the front. Uh, what the? Was I seeing double or something just now? What was that, Shuijin? I told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have the time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up? Come on, this way. I do this stuff. Heading back to where we just left. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be guards here. It kinda makes sense. We just broke out yesterday. Looks like we're going to have to start out. fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? For oh, real. Boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. Yeah, because it actually helps, as opposed to like Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, where you just dash into them and it starts the battle. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, uh. your opponent will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. Attacking enemies. When you attack a nearby enemy, by pressing the A button, the battle begin. Watch for the red icon to appear when you are in range. If you approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, the ambush icon will appear. Attack at the moment for the edge in battle. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. I mean, at least he wants to help. I'll reveal your true form. We rip off your face. Yeah, thanks, Morgana. All right, level up. Um. I don't know Morgana's attacking okay. the blue on a cord, but can I change that? Keep going, I guess. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before. Where'd they go? Quiet down. Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. To where? Oh crap! I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. 
It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Like it wouldn't have been before. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. Okay. The shadows probably won't come in here. <laughs> probably. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. It's a classroom. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could yeah, say it's a world in little. which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you must really hate this Kamashita guy. Yeah, I really it, does. It doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything. I loathe him. Fault. I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can thief. turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this! His, really. I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? He's a, she's a cat. He's a I'm cat. a human. An honest to God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is, yeah. well, it's because I lost my true form. Did you know? I think. You think? You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, cool. I've been tortured by Kamoshida, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not yep. gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? It's pre so you strike were typing. planning this from the start. Well, fine. If Did you bring it to school then? We'll resume our infiltration. Thanks. There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. Okay. Uh, in a safe room, you can consult your teammates and save your game by pressing the plus. You can also save the palace entrance. Let's do it. That is where we're going to stop it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Um, pretty much we just explored a little bit more of school life and that's basically it. Just a pretty chill, like half hour video. Um, now we're entering the castle, so join us next time when we actually enter the castle, see what's going on there. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you all next time on Persona 5 Royale where we explore more of the castle. See you all next time.